Hello and welcome to our how-to video, how to install and set up Cyclone. For this tutorial you will need an internet connection and administrator rights on the PC where Cyclone will be installed. Every installation starts with downloading the installation files. The Cyclone setup is made available for download in two locations. The first option is to log on to the Leica Geosystems MyWorld information portal. This can be found on the Leica Geosystems homepage or directly under myworld.leica-geosystems.com. Alternatively, use the Leica Geosystems HDS specific web page and browse to the download section. We will continue in MyWorld. After registering and specifying the product, Note that there are two available Cyclone setups, one for 64-bit and one for a 32-bit version of Windows. Download and save the respective installation file. The Cyclone setup will download as a zip file. Ensure to extract it before executing, as the installation will not work otherwise. Once unzipped, you will see the main Cyclone installer and a dependency folder, which contains the setup file for the licensing components. This will be launched automatically during the installation process. Installation and setup of Cyclone. Before starting the installation, ensure your Windows is up to date. This is because pending updates can prevent the installation of software components. It is also mandatory to have administrator rights on your computer. Run the installer using the Run as Administrator option from the right-click menu. The installation starts with the welcome screen. Press Next. Read the license agreement carefully and press Yes to agree on Continue with the installation. Next, choose the destination folder in which to install Cyclone. We recommend not to change the suggested path. Press Next to continue. There are two setup types. The customized installation lets you choose which components to install during the next step. The setup type Cyclone Viewer only installs the product Cyclone Viewer and a sample database. Choose Customized Installation and continue by pressing Next. Now select the features to be installed. By default, all are selected. We recommend to keep them checked and also install the help and sample files. Then press Next. In this window, specify the program folder. This defines where to find Cyclone under Start All Programs. Keep the default and continue by pressing Next. Once satisfied with the settings, Press Next to begin copying files and configuring the software installation. In the following window, choose how Cyclone will be licensed. Select the first option if another computer is set up as a license server. Cyclone on this PC will then connect to the server and use the licenses available there. Select the second option if the local PC should also be the machine which gets licensed. Select the third option if you want to use Cyclone as a free viewer only. Continue with Next. Now the Cyclone post installation window comes up. This summarizes all components which still require updating. Note that if the Microsoft Net framework is missing or not up to date, the installer will download it from the internet and update accordingly. For this, an active internet connection is required. Press Install to start the process. The time it takes depends on the amount of updates required and the available download speed. Once the installation of these items is done, the Shortcut Location window appears. Choose if a shortcut will be created on the desktop and in the Start menu. Continue as Next. At this point, the installation of Cyclone is finished. Select Finish. Note the upcoming information window. In case of any abnormal graphics related issues within Cyclone, 
Try updating your video driver. Confirm with OK. Now the Cyclone User Configuration Manager comes up. Here the user can define default paths for various user configurations as well as default data and output locations. Continue by pressing Next. This window lists all available paths which can be changed. For the most part we recommend to keep the default locations, but there are two settings which need to be checked. Default Data Folder. This is the default location for any database which is created in Cyclone without browsing to a specific path. Temporary Files Folder. This is the default path for any temporary page files. These are created when Cyclone is performing large computations. In both cases, the created data can become quite large. Therefore, ensure the paths point to a location with sufficient disk space. Once done, press Next. Then select Finish to start processing and end with Close. The installation is now complete. If you are finished installing Leica Geosystem software, leave the check mark Reboot Machine Now in place and confirm by pressing Finish. The computer will now restart automatically. After the restart, open up Cyclone via double click on the desktop icon. The first window which appears asks you to specify the license server to be used. In this case, all licenses are activated locally. Please have a look at our licensing how-to videos to learn more about licensing your Leica Geosystems HDS product. And with this, the installation as well as the initial setup of Cyclone is finished.